All right, we are we are at uh, section 32.5. The RLC series circuit is where we put all of these components together. Um, so let's go to the PowerPoint. And there's two figures here. Uh, the uh, on the left is the RLC circuit, and on the right is a uh, sliding oscillating oscillating block with a spring. Um, the, if you recall, I think it was section 31.5 or so, we, we talked about the, the uh, uh, LC tank circuit where, where the, the, char the, the stored magnetic field or, or energy would be stored in the magnetic field and it would exchange it to uh, charge um, uh, in the uh, capacitor and it would just go back and forth. The resistor would act, act as a damping uh, factor. And that's, that's what they're showing you here. The, uh, the, if there were friction, this block would uh, come to a, a halt. Well, that's what the resistor is. And that's what they're likening it to here. Uh, we have time on that, but let's just uh, go on with the, uh, the, um, uh, the rest of it. Delta V is equal to delta V max sine omega T. Uh, delta V, small delta V is the AC source. Uh, I is equal to I max times sine omega T minus phi, where phi is the phase angle. Notice it's not a pi over two, it's not a, 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 a minus pi over two or a plus pi over two, because now we're, we're combining, um, we're combining the, the components. Um, okay, so if you recall, a resistor is in phase, an inductor, the, uh, the, the current lags, the, uh, the, uh, the voltage, and in the capacitor, the current leads the voltage. Um, so if you have a purely inductive or a purely capacitive, there will be a power over two, but we're, he, this is a study of RLC circuits where we combine them. So delta VR is equal to I max R sine omega T equals delta VR sine omega t. Delta VL is equal to I max X sub L sine omega t plus pi over two equals uh, delta VL cosine omega t. We're reversing those uh, um, identities that we used earlier. Uh, VC equals I max X sub C sine omega t sine omega t minus pi over two, which is equal to minus VC cosine omega t. Um, so impedance, impedance uh, is equal to V max is equal to uh, VR squared plus uh, VL minus delta, I'm sorry, delta V max is equal to the square root of delta VR squared plus the uh, delta, the delta VL minus delta VC quantity squared, which is equal to I max R squared plus I max X sub L minus I max X sub C, that quantity squared. So the delta V max is equal to I max times the square root of uh, R squared plus X sub L minus X sub C squared. And that, um, what is under the radical is what is, uh, well, let's keep going. I max is equal to delta V max divided by what's under the radical. What's under the radical is defined as the impedance Z. So Z is equal to the square root of R squared plus X sub L minus X sub C quantity squared. Now it's always X sub L minus X sub C. Don't, it's not, you can't reverse those because the X sub L is on the positive vertical axis uh, the X sub C is on the, the, the uh, negative vertical axis. Um, so it, with that definition of Z, I max is equal to delta V max divided by Z. Okay, the phase angle, the phase angle uh, phi is equal to the tangent inverse of VL minus VC divided by VR, which is equal to the tangent inverse of I max X sub L minus I max X sub C um, divided by I max over R. Well, the I max factors out. So the phase angle tangent is equal to the tangent inverse, the inverse tangent 
of X sub L minus X sub C over R. Uh, so the total voltage V max makes an angle of phi with I max. So the phi is, is variable. It's not gonna be pi over two or minus pi over two. It's gonna be variable. It's the phase angle uh, of the entire circuit. Okay, so let's, uh, let's label each part of the figure A, um, B and C is representing the inductive reactance is greater than the capacitive reactance. The inductive reactance is uh, equal to the capacitive reactance or the inductive reactance is less than the capacitive reactance. Okay, so in A, what is leading here? Remember, this is going around uh, counterclockwise. Well, what's first? I max is leading. So that means it's principally capacitive. So it's got a greater capacitive uh, reactance than inductive reactants. Uh, so it would be X sub L is less than X sub C. In B, uh, well, they're, they're together. So there's zero phase angle. So X sub L equals X sub C. And in C, the current lags the voltage so it's more inductive. So X sub L is equal to uh, X sub C. So basically it's these labels here reversed. Uh, X sub L is less than X sub C. Here they're equal and here X sub L is greater than X sub C. Let's check it out. Sure enough, uh, you see how it's reversed. X sub L is less than X sub C because the current leads. The, here they're equal because the there is no phase and here the uh, X sub L uh, is greater because it lags. Uh, and that's the end of this um, section. Let's uh, stop the share.